Okay, children, today we're going to continue our lesson. We are going to do our code and read words. Remember, what do we call this syllable? Yara. A vowel with a consonant after it. Yes, it's a vowel with a consonant after it. It's called a? Closed. Closed syllable. What sound will the vowel make, Tara? Short or long? Short, and I coded with a grief. grief. Okay, so in these words, we need to check if there's a consonant after the vowel. If there is, the vowel will make a short sound. Okay. But what is the sh what is the short sound for the letter I? I. 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 So, are we ready? Yeah. Let's start. I will do the first one. Vowel. Consonant after it. So the I will make a short sound. I'll fold it with a brief. It. I love fit. Vowel with a consonant after it. The vowel will make a short sound. I'll yeah. fold it with a brief. It. Hit. Hit. Now you do number two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see if you can do that. Whenever you find a vowel with a consonant after it, you can code it with a brief. Is V a vowel? Is V a vowel? Let's see. Is it blocked or open? So is it a vowel or a consonant? Consonant. So it's not a vowel. Oh, I did six. Look what I did to my You did? Until six. Oh, yeah, yeah. You need to be more careful. We did this one because yeah. I did now, makeup last Only time. until number six, and then you wait patiently for your friends. I only did it because I did makeup last I like the way Say is waiting patiently. Good job, the hell. And Gaia is doing well. Samuel, I need to see you do the rest. It's number two, three, four, five, six. Is there a consonant after it? Yes, so if there's a consonant, do we code it with a brief or a macron? A meeting. Uh, I have not finished one. You know that? Finish number four, five, and six. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with say. How do I brief? How, how do I code this? Did it move? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's close it. Hold on. I'm sorry, children. No, 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 no. No. You know what? I will just redo that part so that it won't take long, okay? Yeah. So earlier we had a brief here. So Say told me there's going to be a brief here as well. Why did you choose a brief? Because there's a consonant after it. There's a consonant after the vowel. Good job. So can you read this for me? Six. 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 Excellent. Ruby, you do number three. Fifth. Fifth. Uh oh, I shouldn't touch it. Okay. Like brief or make on? Brief. Why a brief? There's a consonant after the vowel. How about this one? Code it up. Read because there's a consonant after the vowel. Now you read it for me. Fifth. 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 your turn. How do we code this? Read up. Do I put a curved line like that or a long line? A curved line. A curve, not a line, a curve. We call it a brief. Okay, and why did we put a brief? There is a consonant after the vowel. Excellent. How about this one? Of course there's a brief. Now you try and read for me. Go. Feet. 
And who did? Good job. A bit. Your turn. How do I call that? Why? There's a consonant after the vowel. Yeah? How about this? Also. Can you read it for me, please? Number five. Bit. Bit. Near. Your turn. Both short? Yes. Was this an easy word for you? Yes. I thought it was very easy. easy. But now I'm going to show you something else. We already know that if there's a vowel with a consonant after it, it the vowel means a short sound and it's coded with a P. How about if I have a word like this? T do I have a vowel? Yes. Yeah. Is there a consonant after the vowel? Yes. Yeah. So can I code it with a brief? Yeah. Yes. But then, how many letters are there, Samuel? How many le four letters. How many sounds are there? Listen. Tip. Three. Three. What are the sounds? Three. Sound. I don't want the name. It. How many sounds? Three. But there are four letters. Because the two F's are making one sound together. Yes, the two F's only made one wow. sound. So the second one didn't make a sound. Yeah? It's a silent one. It's a silent one. Only the first one did. So when you have two consonants, that are exactly the same and they come after each other, it only makes one sound. This means sound. When you have two consonants that come after each other, it only makes one sound. So Miss Nava will not read this as tip. No, I don't do that. I just say tip. What's wrong, darling? Do you miss mommy? Do you miss your mommy? Okay, you know what? Later, you can draw something for her. Okay? Can you do that? Okay. Okay, don't worry. Do you want me to give you a hug? Will that help? Okay. Come. Sometimes we do miss our mommies. Okay. Okay. You know, I also miss my mommy because my mommy doesn't live in Singapore. Yeah, but your mommy is right here in Singapore. You'll see her tonight. Okay? You will be fine. You will be fine. Don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to move the page down. You can start coding it if you think you know how. But I would prefer that you wait for me to show you the first one. Okay? Which page down? So the first one, see? There's a vowel with a consonant after it. I use a brief. Everything. And there are two consonants that are exactly the same. Did How many sounds will it make? One. One. So should I cancel the other one? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so this is how it will look like. And I'll read it as t if tip. Can you do that? No, 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 no. And you do the rest of the words as well. Ruby. Yes. Breathe and you cancel. Good job. Oh, that's easy for the L's. And Gaia too. And this one, how many sounds will the F make? Only one. So cancel the other one. How many sounds will the F make? Only one. How many sounds? Only one. So make sure you do your breathe. And you can no, I For this, I'm going to ask Ruby to help me. Are we ready? Ruby, what should I put on top of the eye? A brief because a consonant after it. 
How many it sounds from the F made? There are two Fs, Ooh. but how many sounds? One. Only one. So what should I do? Cancel. Cancel. Do you call it cancel when you put a line like that? Cancel. No sound. Next, Gaia. What do I put on top of the I? What do I put on top of the I? Is there a consonant after the vowel? Yes. So the vowel will make a short sound or a long sound? Short. So I put a... <coughs> do you remember the name of it? Breathe. Can you say breathe? Breathe. The curve is called a breathe. Okay, so what do I put? Breathe. Good job. And how many sounds will the two Fs make? One or two sounds? <coughs> Only one. So I'll put a cancel. Yes? Good job. Did everybody get it? Yes. Yes? David, read for me the last three words. Again, from this side. Sorry, only the beat. Sorry, only the Louder, please. Tip. Tip. Excellent. So today we coded words with a short I sound. Now we're going to do our rap. It is easy peasy. Wait, what is that? What happened? It broke the I was on losing something and one was it can put it. That's okay. You just put the eraser at the side, Samuel. We don't need it. You have a, you have a wrap page here, but you don't need it now. It's for practice later. We will practice on the board today. Are we ready? Yeah. I need Samuel to be seated. I'm going to be seated because I need to be seated. Okay? One clap.
red page. If you can already read it, you don't have to code. If you think the coding will help you, then you may. It will. Okay, if it helps you, then it's fine. It will help me. Now we're going to do the spelling. Turn to the next page. Yay, spelling. Do you know spelling? Children, we will do our spelling first. We will do for now. Hold on, my turn. Samuel. Today we will do the spelling first because the phonemic awareness will take a longer time to set up. So we will do that tomorrow. Okay, we only have a few minutes left. So we will do spelling instead. Yes? Let's try. Wait for Miss Naba. Are you ready? You must remember when we have spelling. We need absolute silence because we need to hear, we need to listen and echo. David will put it straight away in his drawer. Yes? yes? And it will not come out until it's playtime. Thank you. Number one. Huh. Name the letter. P. 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 Make sure you are quiet. We're not making, we're not making comments now. That's the thing. Good job. Number two. Say, I'm waiting for your number one. Did you name the letter? Okay. Good job. Next, number two. Book. B. Remember how to write B? From the bottom, we Samuel, I'm waiting for number two. Number three. Name the letter. C. We are not commenting in between. It's a quiet lesson. Do. the letter. Number five. Samuel, did you finish number four? Number five. Name the letter. I. 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 <coughs> Number six. Name the letter. A. A. Number seven. This one you need to look at Miss Nabas now because sometimes you can't hear it well. Look. Mm. Name the letter? Mm. Good job. What? What? Okay. Make sure your V is the lowercase. I don't need the uppercase V. I just need the lowercase. Yeah? Uppercase is for special occasions, like the beginning of a sentence. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom part. Not the bottom part, the next page. I this time we're going to spell words. You think you can spell words? Yeah. How do we spell it? It. A. Name the letter it. I. I. So when you hear it, it's going to be the letter I. Okay. Let's start. Number one. Did. Did. And then. Spell it. Tara did. did. D. What, what letter 
is D. D. E. Did. Did. What letter is it, Ruby? It. I. D. It. D. So for did, we have to spell it D I D. Is that easy? Yeah. Number two, Samuel. Bit. Sounds first and blank. Bit. Just take a quick look. Mira is doing so well. Oh, the first row is done. Now just check your feet. Make sure that the curve is on that side. Okay? Just check the direction. Good job. You're doing a wonderful job, Daya. Amazing. And how about the back row? It is freezing. Okay? Now. This is the first time we're going to do phrases. What? What's a phrase, Miss Nabat? Did Miss Daniel teach you about fragments? No. no. Yeah. Yes, I know she did. A fragment is a group of words. A phrase is like a fragment. It's a group of words. But it does not give you a complete thought. So it can only have maybe a subject, maybe a verb, but you don't have both. So it doesn't give a complete thought. Because it's not a complete thought, it's not a sentence. So there's no capital letter in the beginning. There's no punctuation. Just a group of words. Are you ready? I'll show you the first one. Dip a bit. Echo. Dip. A bit. Now I'm going to spell it. Tip. D. I. Dip. P. Dip. Up. We didn't learn up. You learned it in K2, right? So it's actually an A. Dip. A. Bit. B. B. A. So for those who are not here in K2, A is actually a letter A. Dip a bit. I in K2. Yes. A bit. Yes. Number two. Ready? My turn to echo. Did fit. Did fit. Who can help me spell it? Sahel? Did fit. Can you spell it for me? D I D D I D D I D Did Fit And after you write it 
did you try to read it if you wrote the correct one? Did fit. Okay? Easy, Was that easy? easy. Yes. Yeah. So today we learned how to write and spell words and phrases. We'll continue with the phonemic awareness tomorrow. Thank you, children. Bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.